Speaking of wrestling, though, the yep. craziest thing that you guys told me today. Mm -hmm. You guys started this wrestling company? Just the three of us. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. So it's the best wrestling company in the world. It, it is. When you're we the best that. ever to lace it them is. up, it kind of. True. Yeah. We We're, did uh, do that, didn't we? Well, it, it's been so good catching up with you guys. And yep. Speaking of catching up, I think I'm going to go have a brewski with old Hangman. Oh, oh Jesus. Hey. Oh, no, he's not here. Hold don't on, 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 on. Just don't go to Hangman's locker room. Well, I'm, I'm going to go look for him. He's not here. He's on vacation. I'll find him. I'll find you guys are jokesters. Like, the thing is, we've done some real long term stories telling with Hangman, and that's got to take yeah, we sure a have. long time to, to bring him right. up to speed. How are we going to tell him that complicated story hey, that we had with Hanger? I will give you my blood, I will give you my sweat, I will give you Cowboy shit! The elite does not have any losers in our group. Hangman, this is what you wanted, right? Well, fine. We're done. I've known Adam Page his whole career. He's been nothing more than an insecure little boy. We would never leave you alone. So that's what we are here to offer you. Hey, you got the mail. <sighs> Mr. Hangman, this is a letter from AEWHR. You are hearing your own voice in your head as a way to illustrate that you are reading this letter to yourself. Uh, this is a common TV trope. Your voice is not the voice of the HR representative writing the letter. Uh, do not get confused. You don't work for HR. Uh, and if you did, you probably would have been fired by now. Our records indicate that you have used up your over 300 hours of PTO, as well as four sick days for a reported give a fuck to me. We are reaching out to let you know that you will have to return to work. Like I give a fuck. Or have your payment withheld. <sighs> Shit. Your main event tonight is the Casino Ladder Match! The first person who can climb a ladder and grab the poker chip will earn a future match for the AEW World Title! Well, it looks like we got the... Uh... One more competitor, right? Yeah, we are seconds away from finding out who is the Joker. <laughs> well, let's do some cowboy juice this, Giovanni. What do you say? A shot at Kenny Omega in the AEW World Championship. Literally hanging the balance. Moxley just dropped. Hangman does Got it! it! All right, Hangman Adam Page, you and Kenny Omega, longtime tag team partners. A year ago, you two met in the finals of the Eliminator Tournament. He won that match. He went on to become the world champion. And now, on November 13th, is your chance to become the AEW World Champion. In 2019, my friends and I, we left our home in Ring of Honor, we left our home in New Japan to start All Elite Wrestling, and I was excited then because I believed in our vision. I believed we could and I believed we would change the world, but it feels like the world changed us. I told all of you on literal day one that I would be the first AEW world champion, and I failed. I lost to Jericho, I lost to Pac, and then it felt like I started to lose a hell of a lot more. I lost my confidence, I lost my friends, and uh, truthfully, I, I lost myself. But the one thing that it felt like, for whatever reason, that I never seemed to lose was these people chanting, Cowboy Shit! And 
And to me, to me that's very real because Cowboy Shit was taking my shot on day one and telling you I'd be champion. Cowboy Shit was winning the tag team titles with Kenny and defending them every chance that we got. Cowboy Shit was learning to let the past live in the past and accept new friends into my life. And Cowboy Shit was taking my chance and putting it on the line to stick my neck out for those friends who stuck their necks out for me so many times. I'm not a fortune teller. I'm not going to predict how full gear will end for me. But despite that brutal honesty, I feel like you all still believe in me. And for the first time in my life, I do too. So the promise I can make is that at full gear, I will give you everything. I will give you my heart. I will give you my soul. I will give you every fiber of my being. I will give you my blood. I will give you my sweat. And one way or the other, I feel like I may give you my tears. The one thing, though, that I am 100% sure about is that at full gear, I will give you cowboy shit. I wanted to say uh, sorry for not catching up with you guys sooner, and um, more truthfully, I wanted to say sorry for everything that happened after I left. <laughs> you know, right. Because you guys were right. We were right. Yeah. No, 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 no. We, we, were, we right. were right. We were right. We were right. Were right. Yeah. What, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, you were all right. Yeah. You're not always going to agree. And each of you did what you thought was right, and I think that's the best, so I want to thank you for that uh, and apologize. But. Um, if you guys are going to go back after the Elite, uh, yeah, 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 next, week, yeah. next week we're getting real close to Halloween. True. And if I know those guys, they're going to have a costume. Ooh. So, Dark Order, not to be outdone. Oh, we won't. Uh, we won't. Uh, never. Uh, we won't be. Oh, God, I'm going to be Bambi. Oh, come on. No, have you seen the ending of Bambi? No. I have a ton of weird costumes in my closet. Yeah, we know. We know. Hey, Hanger. We've heard the big news. Next week, it's your Dark Order boys against the Elite. Good luck. And I wish I could say I'm feeling excited. I wish I could say that I'm feeling festive because it's our Halloween episode. But you know something? Every single week, teaming with you for a year felt like Halloween. And why is that? Because while I was always the best belt machine, there you were, cosplaying as a cowboy, Ooh, whoo, trying to fool everyone into something that you really weren't, when I know the man behind the hat, and I know your insecurities. I know that you can't sleep at night because you're afraid of failure. If people only knew you the way that I knew you, they wouldn't be chanting cowboy shit. They'd be calling you what you really are. Coward shit. Ooh, geez. I'll see you next week. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event tonight is an eight-man tag team match. Set for one fall or TV time remaining. Dark Order really pulling out all the stops here. The super elite are going to steal this once again. They're getting their proton pack. And look at oh, just, just insult it. to injury here. Dark Order surrounded in the center of the ring. The super elite. Told you. Oh. See that? The proton packs. Somebody left the barn door open. Yeah, the Dark Order headed down to the ring. And the top end of the horse. I think it's somebody from the Dark Order. Could be Vance. But now. Oh, combo BTE trigger! Oh, oh, it's Cutler! Brandon Cutler! Then wait a second, who's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man? Oh my god! That's Hammer on Cowboy, she is in here in Boston. How about that? Championship, Stone Grayson! Swing and a miss by Omega! Seems like whatever problems there were between the Dark Order and Hangman Adam Page have been resolved. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to sign the contract for the AEW Championship match coming up Saturday, live on pay-per-view at Full Gear. Oh, wait a second. You know, uh, 
after uh, all this time, I don't know what there is left to say. And I know that the sooner I sign this, the sooner I get to full gear and beat your ass for the world championship. I wish I could share your excitement, but I gotta say, hey man, I'm a little sad actually. I mean, we were friends, we were partners. As a member of the elite, we were like family. You see all of this? Everything here, this was meant for you. And if it wasn't for your insecurities, if it wasn't for your failures, that, oh no. You talk about that cowboy spirit, right? You guys love the cowboy spirit. You said it best yourself. You fall off that horse, you get right back up into that saddle, right? I wish the cameras could see how it really was, Hangman. It was never you. It was always us that picked you up out of your sorrows every single time, sat you back up on that horse, and sent you back out there to give these people what they thought they wanted, and that was cowboy shit. Why did I do that even after you walked away? Even after you turned us down when we invited you back? <laughs> Call me crazy, but I did it because I saw a little bit of myself in you. How wrong I was. What a disappointment. Uh, you talk a lot about me choking, my failures, my insecurities, and maybe you're right, yeah. And over the past few years, you've told me a lot of lies. You told me I was, wasn't good enough. You told me I couldn't beat you. You let me fall flat on my face. But the biggest lie that you ever told me was last year at Full Gear in the Eliminator Tournament when you beat me, you knelt over my body and you said, good job, Hanger. I'm proud of you. You weren't proud of me. You were afraid of me. You didn't want me to feel the pain of loss like you had felt before. You didn't want it to light a fire under my ass for me to prove myself, to redeem myself. You didn't want it to make me become what you've become, what I will become this Saturday when I beat you and become the AEW World Champion. No, 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 no. You've got it all wrong, hey, man. You've got it all wrong. What I did, I did out of necessity. What I did, I did because, believe it or not, I care about you, Hangman. What I did, I did because I wanted to be the guy standing in front of the table from you right now so you could realize your potential. Whether we can be friends ever again, whether you'll ever team with me again, who knows, I don't know. But one thing's for sure is that I want to be able to shake your hand right here, right now, one last time. Let's kill it at the pay-per-view, man to man. I'm sure they will. The AEW World Champion and his challenger shaking hands. Good job, Hangman. I'm proud of you. Wow, oh, got Kenny Omega. Such a detestable individual. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Kenny, I'm sorry, Hangman. This is necessity. I love you, buddy. Oh, son of a I bitch. love you. Does this look like someone is ready oh to win the world title, Kenny? Does this look like someone is ready to win a world title? Sign it. Kenny Omega Sign it. signing the contract in blood. Promote the pay-per-view call. You're damn right, because tomorrow night it's the super click against those three chumps in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And trust me, what? I need to talk to Matt and Nick. Anything you want to say around the Bucks, you can say around me. Alone. Hey, it's okay. We got this, it's fine. We got this. You sure? I'm, I'm sure. It's okay. Okay. Look, I know you guys had nothing to do with Wednesday. Right. And uh, there's something I've needed to say for a long time. I'm sorry. I was an ass for a very long time. I threw away our friendship. I cost you a shot at the tag titles. Uh, but you cost me a shot at the world title with a dark order in July. So the way I see it, we're, uh, we're even now. So Saturday, if you so much as lay a hand on me, I swear to God, I will ruin you. The 
challenger from Aaron's Creek, Virginia, weighing 229 pounds, Kingman Adam Page. Weighing 224 pounds, he is the reigning and defending all elite wrestling world champion, Kenny. here look how spent both men are look at this they're they're kind of leaning on each other oh look at that my god i got a news face a defiant oh, from downtown what a what a clothesline what a what hilarious this cannot be the way this goes down please nick jackson is contemplating something right here. They're all block shot to the back of the head. Don't ruin this moment. Now from the other side, and he's looking at Matt. Well, well, Matt's nodding at him. Just yet block shot, Larry. He go on. He made it. They're going to need a big chip. No winner of this match. are, but I know what my plan is. I will be all elite wrestling champion. Adam, what do you hope to bring to AEW as AEW world champion? What do you hope your reign signifies in the history of AEW? Cowboy shit. <laughs>